All right, I'm coming to you from the library where we had book fair preview today and to, on Tuesday when we get back, the book fair will be going in full swing. And I'm gonna, I, I, I was excited to find out that the, another part of our big order, uh, one of our big orders came in, so I wanted to tell you about the new books that came in. These books will be available to check out after book fair is over, uh, so they will not be available to check out next week from Tuesday through Friday, but the following week on Monday, we'll make them available to check out. So let's see what we got. Let's start with some graphic novels again. So we have The Secret Garden on 81st Street. This is a contemporary graphic novel retail, retelling of the story of The Secret Garden. Um, this says, video games and tech are loner Mary Lennox's main source of entertainment and friends in her Silicon Valley home. But when her parents are killed in a tragic accident, Mary's life is uprooted to New York City to live with an uncle who she barely knows and to her surprise keeps a gadget-free home. Now think about that. And if you know the story of The Secret Garden, how are those two things going to mesh together? It's going to be an interesting story. I look forward to it. I love these modern adaptations. Um, we also got, you know, a while back, if you can see that, the uh, modern adaptation of uh, The Little Women. Here's another modern adaptation uh, in graphic novel form. We've got Anne of West Philly. This is a modern adaptation of Anne of Green Gables, which is my wife's favorite story of all time. Um, and I know Miss Harris was excited when she heard that we were getting these. So another fantastic modern graphic novel adaptation. Uh, another graphic novel we've got here, uh, we've got uh, Captain America, The Ghost Army, uh, written by Alan Gratz. We have a lot of students that really love Alan Gratz's writing. So you get to put that together with Captain America, and that's super, super exciting. Um, last graphic novel. We've had a lot of graphic novels lately. Um, we don't have as many in this order, um, but it is book two of the Noah Holmes graphic novel adaptation. Now, we don't have book one, but that's okay because each one of these graphic novel adaptations is actually an adaptation of several stories. So this one specifically contains Enola Holmes in the case of the pink, Peculiar Pink Fan, Enola Holmes in the case of the Cryptic Crinoline, and Enola Holmes in the case of the Baker Street Station. Pretty sure I stumbled over some of those words, but all three of those are in this graphic novel adaptation. So that is our new graphic novels. Uh, here are a, a variety of books, mostly picture books, um, and then this one book that I think some of you are going to be excited about. We got a drawing book, specifically how to draw Pokemon, um, how to draw po Pokemon, how to draw Pokemon Adventures. Uh, so all about drawing some of our, our wonderful artists, and you get to learn how to draw your favorite Pokemon characters. I know my son, who's a huge Pokemon fan, will be excited about that. Um, some more of the Pig the Pug books that we were waiting to get in. We added uh, Pig the Stinker. We added uh, Pig the Rebel, which this is my favorite cover. I love that one. Uh, nice little homage. Uh, Pig the Star. I'm pretty sure I have that smile. And uh, Pig the Winner. A uh, couple more picture books still. We've got Greta and the Giants. Inspired by Greta Thunberg's Stand to Save the World. So this is a book that's going to deal a lot with environmentalism and taking care of our planet. Um, and it's about a real life person. But this is a picture book inspired by that person. And uh, one more of our food group books that we were missing. The Sour Grape. So excited about that by Jory John. We love those books. Now for some regular books. Some chapter books as, it, as it's called. A couple more of the Enola Holmes books. Uh, the Case of the Peculiar Pink Fan, and The Case of the Bizarre Bouquets. I love these covers. Um, we had uh, very few copies, and they were in pretty rough shape, so we added another copy of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Uh, we got a copy of The Marvelers. Okay, so this is a Blue Bonnet Award winner, uh, written by Danielle Clayton. Very exciting and fun book. This one I know kids are going to be very excited about. I have a lot of kids that ask me for Stranger Things books, most of those Stranger Things books are not necessarily right for our elementary crowd, but this one is geared to the elementary crowd. It's called Hawkins Horrors, a collection of terrifying short tales geared to younger ages. Um, this is a book that I think all of our elementary kids would really enjoy, if, especially if they're a fan of Stranger Things, as some of them are. Uh, we, got, we were missing one of the books in the Magisterium uh, series by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, uh, so we got one of those. This is a, a magic school um, but a little bit, uh, a little bit maybe darker than Harry Potter. Um, another Nancy Drew book in because I ordered I think like three or four of them. Um, the Curse of the the Arctic Star, uh, the Nancy Drew Diaries, uh, by Carolyn Keene. 
and the final book in the uh, cur- that are currently released of the Black Panther trilogy about Shuri, Shuri Symbiosis, which if you're a Marvel fan, you're probably recognizing one of the symbiotes like uh, Venom uh, from Spider-Man here facing Shuri. So those are our new books that are going to be in the library the Monday after we get done with Book Fair. And don't forget to stop by Book Fair. <coughs> I know I personally am going to be a customer of this Book Fair uh, for my son. Uh, I, I let him look through the video of what's at the book fair, and I'm picking up the Fortnite guide to staying alive for my son. That's what he wanted. My daughter is getting spirit writing free, and I'm getting uh, something just for me, too. So don't forget to stop by the book fair uh, this next week. We look forward to seeing you, and can't wait to see you guys check these books out.